If you need to transcribe videos and audio files automatically, I have the solution for you. It's called Salad Transcribe API. And right now it's on a lifetime deal. Now this launched a few weeks ago and maybe you just skipped on it because you said, you know what? I am not a developer. I don't know coding, but guess what? They now have a direct integration with Pally Connect that makes it super easy to start using it right now. So that's what I'm going to show you. Let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up everyone? This is the lifetime deal that's going on right now. And they launched a couple of weeks ago and maybe you saw this and you skipped on it because you thought it was too complex. You didn't know coding, you're not a developer, and you just thought this was not for you. Well, I want to tell you that right now you can integrate with Pavli Connect and it's super easy to start automating using this API. So the idea of this video is to show you how easy this is and why this lifetime deal is a good buy for you. So right now, this is a lifetime deal. And if you grab one code, it starts off at $79. And let me show you what that's going to get you. So first of all, you can transcribe audio files and video files. These have to be in a link format. So that means that they have to be uploaded somewhere on a cloud so you can automate it with Pavli Connect. OK, now a single code, which is $79, gets you 100 transcription hours per month, which I think is the whole lot for most of us. But if, if, if that's not enough for you, you can jump all the way up to 10 codes and that would be 2000 transcription hours per month. I don't know who would need that much, but hey, it's there if you need it. All right now to connect salad with Pavli Connect is super easy. So first of all, you need to create an organization when you create an account and you're going to need API access, which is this little code right here that's hidden. So let's go into Pavli Connect to show you how you're going to connect. We're going to start a new flow. So let's go ahead and create a flow. We're going to name this salad just for testing purposes. Let's go ahead and create it. And this is going to open up the builder. OK, so first off, you're going to need a trigger. So what needs to happen first in order to start the action? Now, in this case, we're not going to work on the tr trigger because it could be anything. OK, so you can connect with um, G Drive, with Gmail, with something that just can automate with salad. OK, so in this case, there's a ton of applications that you connect with. OK, so in this case, we're going to say that we connected with G Drive, for example, and we're going to transcribe those files into our system for salad. OK, so now in action, we're going to search for salad. OK, we're going to go ahead and select it. In this case, I already have a connection created, but if you add a new connection, we're going to grab our API key from salad, which is right here. And we're going to name our organization name, which is the name that we created when we created an organization. In this case, it's SAS. OK, so as I said, I'm already connected. I'm going to use this one. So let's go ahead and save it. And here we go. We need a direct public URL for audio or video that we're going to transcribe. So that means that the automation that you're going to use for the trigger, like I mentioned before, it can be Gmail, Woo, uh, WordPress or something like that and bring in a file to add it here. In this case, I'm going to manually add it. OK, so in this case, I'm going to manually add it. I have a audio file that I uploaded on my WordPress site, and that's that's what I'm going to use. OK, language in this case, it's English. In this case, if you don't type it in, the default one is English. There's 97 languages available. Just choose the correct one. OK. And in this case, I'm not going to need timestamps, sentence level stamps. I'm going to leave all these false. You can turn it on if you want. If you need the SRT file again, turn it on if you like webhook in case you need that. And then a job ID, if you want to name this something just for testing purposes. In this case, we don't need it. OK, let's go save and send the test request. Here we go. It just started and be aware that this creates an ID, which we're going to need later on. OK. So let's hypothetically, hypothetically say that we're automating a process. We grab a file from G Drive. It's going to start the process to transcribe it. Next, what we're going to do is add a delay. OK, so we're going to give it some time for salad to do the transcription. Maybe it's a fast file. Maybe it's a short file. I don't know. A long one it could be two hours long or I don't know. And it might take longer. So I would add a delay depending on the use case that you're going to use for the long length of your files. For example, I'm going to set a delay for five minutes in this case. OK, save and test request. In this case, we're just building it. So don't worry about waiting. All right. The next is the action that we're going to use again for salad. OK, let's go ahead and select it. And now we're going to get AI transcription by job ID. Let's go ahead and connect again. If you already previously connected, just go ahead and save. All right. And then the job ID is going to be grabbed from this action right here. OK. So we're going to select here and we're going to grab the ID. In this case, it should be done because it was a really fast file that I uploaded. It's like, I don't know, five seconds like that. And here we go. We got the ID. It grabbed it in English. Transcribe. It succeeded status. You can even grab a filter in case you don't want to continue if it's not succeeded. OK, and here it is. The output text. 
we just got it right here remember we don't we didn't select the srt file nothing like that but you can enable that all right so here we go we just got the transcription super fast and super easily and as i mentioned before if you want to add a filter so for example i'll set a filter for if it doesn't if it's not succeeded don't continue to the next step for the automation let's go ahead and connect and we're going to grab that field right here which is the succeeded one whereas here it is status succeeded okay so if it equals to or contains in this case i'll say equals to succeeded it's going to continue so let's go ahead and do that success and it's going to continue to the next steps and by that you can go ahead and automate i mean if you want to create a wordpress post a facebook post uh x post etc you can do it with these automations if you want to send out an email from the transcript just whatever you want to do with the actions right here it's available i mean the world's open to you whatever you want to do with the automation but the idea is to show you how easy it is to start using salad transcription api using Pavli connect so in that case like i said before you don't have to be a developer or no coding to actually use Salad transcription api so if you want to check it out i'll be leaving the link in the description for Salad transcription and that's a wrap